so on this a cloud run manager page uh, on the top right basically we'll find the admin related thing so you can go to my profile you will say that your username is admin and you do have full privileges as an administrator okay <coughs> and you can change password and all support is like basically, basically this is all related to the cloud era support suppose uh, you have purchased a license from them and then uh, <coughs> You know you can uh, go to their support portal create some tickets okay uh, let them know about the issues you are facing okay uh, then you do have a lot of documentations available right there right directly from here you can do you get help installation guide api documentation release notes you can send feedback a lot of other things through this particular thing you can search something from here I think on cluster search of source services role host configuration wizard and so on you can activate this search by box <coughs> yeah. then here it will tell you about parcels so you see this is like kind of a gift packet you click on it you will get to know that currently which is available parcel you are having so we are having Parcel name is CDH5, its version is this one. Its status is currently distributed and activated. Okay, you can deactivate from here, deactivate this product and use the default Cloud Era product package install on your system. You can deactivate and activate. So, just like this 5.9.3 that is listed over here, you can now uh, get the parcel for 5.10 or 5.11 and have it listed here. Okay. That, that time it will be let's say it's distributed and deactivated so you can just deactivate this one and activate the other one okay so this is how like you can easily do the kind of upgrades and you know uh, easily <coughs> play uh, among the parcels okay so you can have simultaneously more than one parcel to be present in your distribution make one activated and the remaining could be deactivated so through this particular here and let's say when you get the new parcel installed or new parcel distributed new parcel like you know if you get the new parcel you will get a notification over here that a okay, new parcel is coming or is like there what you want to do with that okay so you will get the activation or oh, sorry notifications over here on the parcel one these are some remaining parcels those we <coughs> have not yet downloaded because if you see there is a download button it means that they are not yet downloaded okay so you can download them and then once they download you need to distribute them and then activate them so currently we are having only one thing listed over here uh, as per the parcel check for new parcel you can click on it and then you can <coughs> so check for new parcel there is no new parcel we have downloaded so that's why it does not give anything okay you can do go to parcel usage and uh, This is the currently uh, product CDH cluster cluster one. So this is the name of our cluster basically. Okay. Now if you want to again go back to the homes or just click on this cloud era manager. And this is the main page. Okay, you are you will find that lot of a uh, lot of these services there are like either uh, concerning health or very critical health. <clears throat> how to check the logs then so what is happening with this okay why why so you can go all health issues you can go to configuration so let me click on all health issues <coughs> so it says some dns resolution problem okay cluster one C cdhs1 cdhs2 DNS resolution so I will just check on it and you just need to get the messages what exactly it, it is saying around so it says that DNS resolution over here the host name and canonical name for this host are not consistent when checked from a Java process now this is <coughs> uh, sometimes very difficult to understand what is the canonical name <coughs> okay so Canonical name uh, is just like the fully qualified domain name. Okay, uh, you can just search for it 
on the Google that what does canonical name means. So let me just. The canonical name record every it is C name is a type of resource record in the domain name service used to specify that a domain name is an alias for another domain. <coughs> so basically, what is the problem with at the backend is <coughs> sorry. When you check the host name, okay, with this command, you will get this cdh2.cluster.com, right? Uh, and this comes from this particular file called etc sysconfig network. Okay, so currently we have not set up our host name over here and I manually change it. So you should put your host name properly over here. So I will just copy this and change it here for my master machine. Same thing needs to be done for the rest of the machines. Okay, so let me go to CDH S1. And currently if I pick host name over here, it just tells CDH S1. Okay, so that is not proper. When you say host name, it should give you this complete <coughs> name using, uh, I mean, including domain also. Though it will give if you provide hyphen F, but without doing hyphen f also you sh should give the proper full fully qualified domain name and this is not done because we have not changed in our earlier uh, you know installation i mean when we do the con when we were doing the configuration we did not change it properly in this file okay so let me change it properly over here <coughs> cdh s1 dot cluster dot com right and once you do that you can also change this on just by providing the host name proper host name like this cdhs1 cluster.com okay so if i don't give this currently the host name comes as only this one cdhs1 but if i give this <coughs> okay it says you must be root so just do sudo in front of it host name is this one now it is correct <coughs> sorry now same thing needs to be done for cdhs2 now whenever you do the change in this particular file okay this is like core configuration file whenever you do some changes in core, core configuration file basically you re, you need to restart the machine but then uh, in this case we may not need to do because now the host name if you type hostname command, it is now giving you the proper, uh, you know, uh, pro proper host name with its domain also. Though when you restart, basically whatever the name that is written in this network file will be automatically will be your host name. Okay, so that is a good practice. I mean, um, uh, somehow we missed this step. Okay, and that's why the DNS is not getting resolved properly by Java processes. That's what actually it is giving over here. Sorry, where is that one? Okay, I think since we changed for CDHS1, uh, the canonical name gets changed. Now, suppose if you go to cluster.manager for CDHS2, you will definitely get that. <coughs> now, see, CDHS1 DNS resolution was over. I mean, it got easily fixed, uh, automatically fixed, right? So as, as soon as we change the name from here, host name, <coughs> that error has gone. Now, if we do similarly for CDHS2, machine it should also go away so let me just click on it and what it says the host name and canonical name for this host are not consistent when checked from the java process so let me do it exit ssh2 <coughs> if you type host name you will get cdh just only you need to go to sudo vi slash etc sysconfig network and you need to put host name as <coughs> cdh s2 dot cluster dot com 
save and also change from here post name dh s2 dot cluster dot com right so as soon as you do that and the refresh is basically <coughs> that bed bed health for that cluster two should also be gone now if you see only critical health is only one so that dns resolution it will be automatically you know tested so let's suppose name oh sorry i should be on i should be root I will use sudo. Now do host name and yes, refresh it. <coughs> so it will be gone now. So it keeps tracking whether <coughs> the DNS resolution is proper now or not. So let me. So now that 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 uh, particular alert has gone. So they are all like uh, there is no now critical. Now we can restart all these services. What I can do, I can say <coughs> from cluster one, restart all these services. while restarting we got this let's check the error for this oh the problem is uh, we put the incorrect host name it should be cdh and we have put it as chd so this is our manual mistake i need to exit out of it if i do host name so it is chd you know so it should be cdh not cdhm2.cluster.com sorry we need to be sudo cdhm2 now it is okay close it <coughs> let me restart it so while restarting you can here it is selected it's show only failed step or you can say show only running steps you can click any one of them and you should be able to get you know show all steps if i see so these are all the steps that we are getting so execute command start so you can just expand this also expand this also and here you can see all the logs so it it will give you the full log file from here Okay, you can also if if there is any some error occur, you can go to this step called standard error here. They, it will tell you that what error it is facing. Uh, it will also provide you the logs of. So you can just click on this full log file. So I will just give an example of <coughs> one component. Okay, so here you are getting the whole complete log of your cluster. Okay, you can go to this diagnostic and you can search for logs over here. Right, so that is on the top. So you can come here. Okay, let it run out the background <coughs> you can go to diagnostic and select logs it will take you to this kind of thing so it will you can just say uh, i want to see for zookeeper zookeeper search logs so it will find all zookeeper logs and list it down over here you can also Select from here that how much how how you know how much time uh, back in the history you can go one hour two hour six hour thirty days like this so it's it will tell you three thirty minutes preceding okay so from the current to thirty minutes back it gives give you you know give, giving you the logs 
So you see, all zookeeper related logs are here. So that way, I mean, you know, the logging is very very good in Cloudera, Cloudera Manager. Now let's check. Okay, now the things are turning green. Okay. Because currently running commands are there because the services are still restarting. So you can just click on this running commands and it's like restart. It is still running. <coughs> Go to all recent commands also it will, it will tell you that First restart got failed, second restart is running, first run initialize them, there are a lot of things. <clears throat> now we just need to explore a lot and more options around this Cloudera Manager to get more insight about it, how it will help us. You know? Now the components are <coughs> getting green and green. So, see the last service also will be green so we have 90 percent green right that's it i mean this is how we set up a cluster of three node of cloudera so to begin with this is quite good now we may need to dig and explore more and more things and now we will start understanding all the basic components, how they work, what is the functionality of it, okay, how we can configure it, how we can optimize, customize, what are all the admin activities around it, we just need to check. So to begin with, this is a good thing that we did some troubleshooting and we have come up with a three node cluster running all green, okay, you can check just to fire some commands from the backend do Hadoop fs minus ls and it should give us a directory of <coughs> Hadoop file system and yes we we are here so we, we could get this okay 